Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Just a quick update for you this one. It's 2024 and it hasn't started how I wanted it to. Trust me. For about the last week and a half, two weeks, something like that, I've been in and out of hospital. Um, basically, I felt what I thought was a bit of a stiff neck coming on. And then I had a headache with it, which was right at the lower part of my head, right at the back of the, right at the base of the skull, where your sort of neck meets the, the, the base of your skull. I was, oh, the pain was intense. And it got worse. And then I had this pain and a neck ache for about a week. And I went to the doctors, they sent me into the hospital. They'd done, done the usual tests, you know, blood tests and um, an x-ray. And then I had to have a CT scan. And then I had to have another CT scan after they injected me with a dye to check for blood clots. Um, what else did they do? They took, they took fluid from my spine. Um, that all sort of, I felt like a guinea pig. Um, and they couldn't find anything. And then I started getting dizzy spells. So they got me back in again, they'd done a few more tests, and then what they found, and I don't know why you didn't find this the first time, was where I had the pain, there was a tiny, tiny little bit of damage to the skull. Um, which in turn has damaged the nerve. Now, this is a condition. If I get the if I get the words wrong, of I, I you know it is what it is. But I've got to try and pronounce these words now. It's in the greater occipital nerve or something like that. Uh, basically, it's, it's a condition that they call neuralgia. Um, and what they've done now is they've given me nerve blockers. They had an injection inside of the head, um, and then they, um, what else did they do? They give me an injection through the uh, cannula that they put in. To numb the pain, and I'm also now on a monster load of very, very strong painkillers, um, and I've got to carry on taking them and increasing the dose every three days until the pain stops. And then I've got to go back in the hospital next week and see what they're going to do. I don't know what they're going to do long term. Uh, they they reckon they can cure it, but by which method I don't know. So it's just a case of waiting and see. But I just thought I'd let you know where I am, where I've been. It's not been a good start with 24 so far. Like I say, it's, it's not how I wanted it to go at all. I've had stuff arrive for the camper conversion that I can't fit. I've places that I wanted to go that I can't go because I can't drive at the moment because I'm just too drowsy because of the medication. Um, I, I've just, I just can't do anything. It's driving me bonkers, honestly. And I know we've had cold weather recently, but I'm starting to see the sun come out. It's out now shining, although it's still cold. I still, I, I could be out doing things, but I can't, and it's driving me mad. But hopefully, when I go back in there in a few days' time, they should give me some sort of answer as to what they're going to do. I get this sorted because it's driving me bonkers, absolutely driving me nuts. So, I don't know how long I'm going to be away for, hopefully not long, I'm sort of estimating or guesstimating about a week, maybe two weeks, if we say two weeks to be safe. Um, but until then I'll post you some updates, um, probably post. I might, I might even try to do a few shorts now and again. Um, something else I want to, I want to start doing. 
But yeah, it's just, just a quick video really guys to let you know um, where I am and what's going on. But I will be back a couple of weeks max and I will be back because uh, I've got to start doing stuff. So anyway, I hope you all had a good Christmas and a good New Year. So for now, that's it for me guys. I'm going to have everyone leave you and until next time, take care and I'll see you on the next video.